Welcome to Naresh IT. Retrieval Argumented Generation RAG, is one of the hottest topics in the field of generative AI. Every organization is exploring and implementing RAG based models. But the question remains, what exactly is RAG and how can non-technical learners understand this concept? In the context of RAG, when you load a single PDF or multiple document into an LLM and you need specific information, the model retrieves and generate the relevant information without requiring you to read the entire document. But how do LLM understand and apply the RAG technique? To help you understand this concept, I'm conducting a free workshop this Sunday at 9 a.m. I will provide a step-by-step -step guide to creating a RAG-based model. In this workshop, we will build a RAG application using ChromaDB, Langchain Framework, Grook API, Hugging Face and Llama 3 with 70 billion parameters. This workshop is specifically designed for AI ML practitioners, data scientists, NLP enthusiasts, NLP learners, AI researchers and students. So stay tuned as we dive deeper into the cutting edge technology. Let's understand RAG today. Retrieval argumented generations. So I try to explain how these things work. So the first process, let's understand what is LLM models. So GPT from OpenAI, Gemini from Google and Llama 3 from Meta. These everybody know about this three main important and this is paid version and these are open source. So we can build model in open source where no need to purchase any API key. I hope everybody know this. So what is LLM architecture? So a user write a query, LLM model understand the query and generate the response. So user write a query and LLM model response for the above query this is called traditional llm models but what is rag based model so when a user write the query so rather than reach to the llm model here it retrieve the text and store the text data in the form of embedding vectors using similarity vector which is due to concepts of embedding. So here this store is many people call knowledge base and data store. This is called vector database. So we have many vector database like Chroma DB and Fias DB. So here it, there's a many more databases we have Fias DB and Qdrant, Qdrant, Milverse. So we have many more vector databases we have. So you can connect to any vector database. So here again, I'm telling you. So when a user send a query, it retrieve the text and it store the text in the form of vectors. It's similarity vector it's stored in vector database. And from the vector database, it's again passed to the retrieval, the relevant similarity informations. And again, it generate a query and LLM models are generate responses. So this concepts called retrieval argumented generations. So this we called as RAG based applications. So if you want to know in detail about these architecture, how it works. I'm conducting a free workshop on this Sunday at 9 a.m. So I want you to enroll these workshops and I'll explain each and every in depth how these things works internally. I'll guide you so well. My name is Prakash Senapati and you can register for the workshop using the link below and don't miss this opportunity to enhance your skills in one of the most innovative areas of AI. Thank you and meet you in the session.